So I'm in a squat, he's in a squat. I'm fast, I'm fast, I'm fast, I'm fast. If you ever had a problem with this coach, get your get back right now. <laughs> and time, great job, good job. Good, so as you can see, it's a little interaction. It's always good to create some positive energy before you train. I need you to change your train of thought when you hear the term warm up. If you have 15 minutes to warm up, you multiply that by 200 over the course of a year, what's that math? It's a lot of time, right? That's a lot of time to invest in yourself. So anytime you're in a warm up period, don't fucking lollygag and go through the motions as 90% of hoopers do because I've been there and I've seen it. No, that's a valuable piece of time for you to work on something specific to you. Is basketball played on one foot predominantly or two feet? One, right? You run, you jump, you euro, you cross, right? You hezzy, it's all one foot, right? So in my opinion, I think single leg strength is more important than double leg strength. Your guys' two foot squat look really good, but your one foot squat not so much. So practice single leg squatting too. And again, there's no standard here for me. There's just you. You are who you are, learn about yourself, understand what's happening and then fix it. And I understand the positions and postures you need to be in to win. And these low postures with load can help you win, I promise you. So your handle work is up to you, but the positions and postures is right here with it. Look, look what's happening to my back foot as I resist. Toe, Achilles, calf, quad. It's not a sprint. I wanna feel everything. Bend your knees if you're resisting. Bend your knees if you're resisting. Bend those knees. I'm his warder, right? I'm his resistance. Okay, if I do this, lean into me. If I do this, I'm not doing anything for myself. I'm not doing anything for myself. I need to be here with it. See what I'm saying? So I'm trying to load this position. As you guys saw and, and experienced, sitting back on that back heel was not easy. You know what I'm saying? Moving the big toe wasn't easy. Being in these low ranges is not easy. However, if you can master those positions, I can't guarantee that you'll be injury free but you will be less likely, I can guarantee that. And that's through experience, years of experience with working with NBA dudes and just understanding y'all sport.